Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, RISC-V has a long way to go before it becomes a viable alternative to Intel AMD or anything from ARM and its partners. However, that doesn't mean it's not interesting to play with. So today I want to show you how you can emulate a RISC-V processor and a virtual machine on a Raspberry Pi, which is of course an ARM-based board. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So this is going to be a command line tutorial. We're going to bring up a command line version of Linux on an emulated RISC-V processor and virtual machine. So let's head over to a Raspberry Pi and start a terminal. Okay, so here I am on the command line on a Raspberry Pi 4. This is a model with four gigabytes of RAM. And I want to point out that I'm actually running a Ubuntu 64-bit. Now, the reason for that is I tried this on the Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit and I couldn't get it to work. So I switched over to Ubuntu 18.04, long-term support, 64-bit. Uh, and then I was able to get this to work. So that's different than maybe what you've got running on your Pi. You've probably got Raspberry Pi OS Rasbin, it used to be called. Uh, to get this to work, you're going to need to go with something like Ubuntu. If you do try it with the 64 bit version of Raspberry Pi OS, do let us know in the comments uh, whether you got that to work. Now, of course, the first thing you do is make sure that all of your repository information is up to date. So, do a sudo apt update to make sure that's all okay. And what we're going to need to do is install, um, we're going to need to install build essentials, git. Uh, ninja build and w get so i'm going to leave some notes in the description below in fact it will be a link to some notes probably on my github repository but to do that you need to install a client like this it will all work on here because they're all up to their newest versions but you basically need to make sure you've got all those things installed now to run this uh, risk 5 uh, emulator we're going to use qemu some people call it qemu kimu QEMU, whatever you want to call it, it's a great piece of software for emulating uh, processors and entire virtual machines. But to get it to work on Ubuntu 64-bit, we need to build it from the source. So the way we do that is we just clone the GitHub repository for uh, QEMU. And so you do git clone, github.com, QME, QEMU, Kimu, Kimu. Okay, and that will then go and get all the source code. Now, once that is all finished downloading, you will have a QEMU directory. You go into there and then you make a directory called build. This is where the build will go, CD into build. And then just like you would with other packages, if you're building from source, you want to do uh, dot dot configure, run the configure script from the directory above. But the important thing here is to make sure we specify the target uh, list is equal to uh, risk 64 with a soft MMU memory management unit. Okay, and that will go ahead and configure that ready for you to build it. And once that has finished uh, running configure, you then of course do make, and we can use J4, J3, whatever, to actually start building that software. Now, once that's finished building, the last step, of course, is to do a sudo make install so that it copies the binaries onto your machine. Now, once that's built and installed, you will find you have a QEMU system RISC-5 64 binary that you can run, and that is the entry point into running the emulation. But before we fire that, we actually need something to emulate. So we're gonna download the RISC-V version of Fedora and have that ready. Now, thankfully, they have some images that are available and uh, you download those from the Fedora project. So you want to download two uh, files from here. One is the Fedora Minimal Rawhide SDA raw x uh, z file and the other is the uh, payload u-boot uh, qemu uh, elf files so you need both of those files downloaded onto your raspberry pi and of course you can get those using wget or curl and so i have downloaded those into a directory called fedora risk 5 and you can see them there and the important thing is that this one was compressed so we need to do a, a uncompress that using um, uh, un 
xz and then the name of the file with the uh, .xz extension on it and then that will give you just the .raw file uh, here which it can use directly. So now you have uh, the QEMU installed and you have a version of Linux that you want to run that is built for RISC-V. The next step is just to actually run it. Now the command for running it is quite complicated. It will gain B in the notes. Here it is. Let's have a look at it. Uh, and see whether we can um, understand the major parts of it. Okay, first of all, we are running QEMU, that program there. Couple of things, we're saying, give it two processors, give it two gigabytes of memory. Then here it's mentioning these files that we've downloaded. Also here for the, uh, for the hard drive, for HD0. Okay, and so what that is basically the commands that you need to get the uh, to get it to run, uh, and then you just hit enter and and it will start running. Now here's the thing, of course, is it's going to boot up and it's it's interactive. It's actually okay. Uh, it's not actually going to be fast, but actually it's usable. As you can see, the the boot up messages are starting to go past here. So it's not as if you're going to wait like you press a key and wait a minute for something to happen. This is going to run but not obviously at the same speed you're running on native hardware. So let's just uh, wait a second while the Linux kernel boots now on this system. Okay, and once it's finished booting, you would see here, it tells you very nicely that RISC-V is the username and Fedora rocks. Uh, exclamation mark is the password so let's log in uh, as it suggests risks five fedora rocks okay and we're in so you know we can have a look around here we can uh, you know run top and see that here we are running on a proper multitasking uh, Linux system. Of course, this is uh, emulation. However, it is working. If we have a look at slash proc slash CPU info, we can see that we've got two core uh, RISC 564 bit listed there. Uh, and of course, we can have a look at etc slash uh, OS release, which tells us that we are running Fedora 32, codename Rawhide. Now, what I want to do is install a few programs uh, using DNF, which is the way you install things on um, on Fedora. So we're going to install just a few programs. Basically, we're going to install uh, GCC, HTOP, because I like it, uh, Git, File, uh, and Nano, just to make sure that those are all there on the system. And so we'll just let that go. Oh, here we go. Fedora rocks. Okay, now that GCC and those other tools are downloaded, what we're going to do is going to use a program from my GitHub repository. This one is in fact one about double linked lists. So we're going to download it, we're going to compile it, and then we're going to show that we are able to compile RISC-V binaries, run it here uh, under this RISC-V emulated system on this Raspberry Pi. So there is the URL. You'll find that in the notes. So that will just go ahead and get this C file. So that's pretty good. And now we're just going to compile it. And of course, we would just use GCC for that in the normal way that you would. The output file will be called double linked list. The double linked list is the name of the C file. Let's go ahead and run that and that will start, start up the compiler. And then we will get a RISC-V binary out of it. Okay, so now that binary is being created, so we can use the file command and we can ask it to look at that binary. And there we go, 64 bit, that's important, and it's RISC-V. Okay, and then of course we can just run the bi binary. It's, uh, it's only interesting if you if you looked at that double link list video that I've got here on this channel. So we've taken some C code, we've compiled it uh, fully here uh, on this machine using GCC. So basically, that's it. We have shown that we can run uh, a RISC-V Linux system, okay, on a Raspberry Pi, which allows you now to test out any software that you might want to try out uh, on risk five itself obviously not great performance but usable performance that actually allows you to kind of get ahead and try this stuff out okay that's it my name is gary sims this is gary explains i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give this video a thumbs up and if you like these kind of videos why not stick around by subscribing to the channel okay that's it i'll see you in the next one